Hey guys, uh, in this video, we'll be setting up our database that is uh, MongoDB. So I'm on the official website uh, that is mongodb.com. So you can just have a look at the website and uh, for now we can just go ahead and uh, sign in. Okay. So it takes you to this page where uh, you can just go ahead and put in your email address or you can sign in using Google. So once you're done signing in, uh, you will uh, see an interface like this. So don't get overwhelmed because there are so many options. We are just gonna, gonna stick to the basics. Okay, so I have just set up dark theme uh, in case if your uh, system is using light theme. So just don't worry about it. It's all the same. So now we uh, are just gonna configure uh, our database. Okay, so right now what we need to do is. So you can go to database. And uh, here you can just uh, go, go here and connect. Okay. So for now we are going to uh, fetch a connection string which we will be uh, uh, incorporating in, inside our application. Okay. So we will be storing that uh, uh, variable. Okay. With that through that we can connect to our MongoDB uh, virtually. Okay. So we can just go ahead and click connect. And here we want to choose, uh, we want to choose uh, compass. Okay. So here uh, actually not compass. Here we just need to get a connection string okay so for that we can just go to this drivers and uh, we can just copy this uh, particular code over here so it says add connection string to your application code okay so we can just copy this and we do not have to install anything like uh, mongodb or anything so this everything happens uh, virtually okay so let's go to our application and uh, let's go to server and dot env here i'm going to create another variable called mongo mongodb okay uri so and set this equal to that connection string okay and uh, you need to replace this uh, particular thing with your actual password okay and uh, before this question mark we need to type in the uh, name of our project okay so i'll uh, name it spark tip okay and here you can just go ahead and uh, replace this with your uh, password okay So once that's done, uh, you can come here and uh, close this and uh, click on create. Okay. So we'll be creating our database. So these are all uh, paid plans. So we are going to stick with the free version. So you can click on shared and uh, it will create, it will choose the nearest server for you. That is uh, Mumbai, which is uh, nearest to me. Okay. Just go there. Uh, just click on uh, create, create cluster. Okay. So now you can go to database and uh, click on collections since i already have a cluster uh, it uh, is not allowing me to create another one so these are uh, the different projects which i had previously uh, been created so for now let me specifically uh, create one for the project we are building so i am going to name the database uh, spark tech okay and i'm just going to call it youtube okay so you can just uh, keep the same name uh, or you can just call it spark tech and the collection name itself uh, you can just call it the same okay and uh, for this uh, we don't need anything we can just uh, go ahead and create okay so for the collection name uh, i need to set this to uh, the collection that we are so we will be creating three collections one is for products users and for the orders okay for our products so first one let me just create uh, one for products okay and later we'll be uh, creating one for users and orders subsequently okay so you just go ahead and click create so our uh, database has been created with this uh, name spark tech dash youtube so actually i need to change this uh, name to uh, spark tech youtube okay so you can just change this to that Of course, you can just keep this anything. It doesn't have to be the same. And uh, so for now, our database has been configured and uh, don't forget to like uh, replace this with your password. Okay. And yeah, now we shall go ahead and uh, like configure our MongoDB in our server. So now uh, in order to connect to our database and, uh, you know, communicate between our server and uh, MongoDB, we use a uh, data object uh, modeling, something called as Mongoose. Okay. So let's go ahead and search for the documentation. 
so it is a uh, mongoosejs.com so we can just go here and uh, just have a look at the documentation so basically it is a uh, we can just see you can mongodb object modeling for node.js so uh, already we have previously installed uh, this package so we can just go ahead and import and uh, i'll just show you step by step how we can uh, you know connect to a database using mongoose and uh, it is a uh, very easy like it has uh, specific methods in order to uh, you know grab and uh, you know just like how you make some sql queries when you're working with uh, sql database same way we have some commands such that we can get uh, curated data from uh, our database okay so let's go to our application and uh, yeah here inside our server i'm going to create a folder called config okay so inside that i am going to create a file called db.js okay so you can just call it uh, database so now i am going to import mongoose okay just like that and now i'm going to uh, like create so you can call this uh, const connect db okay and set this to an uh, asynchronous function because this uh, actually returns a promise okay now we uh, can open up our try cache block because if we know anything uh, wrong could be happening so we can suppose if our connection fails uh, if it fails to connect so we can just catch that uh, error okay so i am going to create a, a variable called connection okay i can just call it con equal to await mongoose that we imported dot connect it has a function okay and uh, this value i am going to get it from the dot uh, env file that we previously configured and here i don't need to like uh, again uh, configure dot env in this file because this is already we are going to connect uh, inside our server server dot js okay so we can just say process dot env dot this is uh, i named this mongo db underscore uri okay and uh, once uh, the connection has been made we can actually set up some uh, few options okay so this is like you just don't have to like worry much about it okay so use uh, unified topology okay and set this value to true okay again another value is uh, use a new url parser new url and again set this value to true okay so we don't have to worry much about this so in order to like properly configure our database we just need to add these values okay so once that's done and uh, we just need to let's uh, actually log the value of uh, this uh, thing to the console okay and i'm going to like uh, write in a template string call it Mong mongodb connected okay and uh, give this a value of okay this uh, connection object okay that we we set it up con dot connection dot host okay so this will tell you where it is actually being hosted okay and then if there's any error in uh, uh, doing that so we can just uh, console dot error You can just say uh, the error whichever is coming from that object so error and we can just throw in that value okay error dot message okay so and also once this done we do not want the server to be running so we just want to uh, quit it immediately and we, for that we have this uh, process dot exit okay and set this value to one okay and now let's uh, export this so export default uh, connect db okay so now our now we have set up our uh, mongoose so such that it connects uh, to our database once our server is running and only thing is we just need to call this function in our server.js okay so we can just go here and we can uh, bring in connect db so import connect db from the relative path config slash db dot js okay so right below this you can just call the function okay connect db 
so so that whenever uh, our application starts it will immediately uh, be connected to the database okay so that's done so if your server is already running make sure uh, you quit it and uh, start it again because we have modified the .env file okay so we can just go to that uh, we can just go to server okay we don't have to start the front end okay so we can run run up the development server Okay, so we have an error here. Uh, actually, this is trying to read this value. If, uh, it's getting this value as undefined. So I, I guess uh, we just need to uh, place this under uh, this .env.config because uh, only if uh, .env is being configured, only then it can uh, read that particular value that is coming from uh, our .env file. Okay, so now let's save this and have a look. Okay. Okay, uh, so it says this thing is not uh, supported. So it is actually not this. So it is actually use new or new URL parser. Okay, use new URL parser. Okay, so let's save that, and hopefully everything works fine. And yeah, so we have another error. Uh, Okay, server is running on port 5000, but uh, our authentication has failed. Uh, maybe I entered the wrong password. So let's have. Okay, so now our database has been connected. As you can see here, uh, MongoDB connected and it will show you the host. Okay, so this is just a gibberish string. Uh, now it, it gives a warning saying that uh, use new URL parser is, uh, is deprecated. Um, actually, let's uh, go ahead and uh, remove, remove that. Okay, so. So maybe they have made some major improvements uh, in the newer version. Okay, so again, uh, again, it's, it's complaining about this as well. So I, I guess we can just remove this. We don't actually need this uh, in the new version. Okay, so we can just uh, do that and uh, let's have a look. Yeah, server is running on port 5000 and our MongoDB has uh, been connected. Okay. So in the next video, we will be adding all of our um, products, okay, that we uh, have with that we have in this products.js into our MongoDB database, so that we can uh, you know fetch all of these products from our database instead of you know like uh, statically fetching it from uh, our backend, okay. So let's uh, go ahead and do that.